I'm embarrassed to report uh, that empathy and listening were definitely not inherent for me. Um, I've been a type A personality since I was a little kid, um, and it was definitely all about me early in my career. I remember distinctly the first time I had to manage a group of over about 15 people, and I walked into a situation that was quite difficult with a plan. I mean, I came in and I knew exactly what I wanted to have happen, and I just wanted to steamroll that through this existing group of uh, people, this population. That didn't work because they were an immovable force, and I needed to get them on my side and listen to them and change potentially what my plan was. And I learned a lot. I became um, incredibly aware how important listening was and how important empathy was. And um, it has changed my entire uh, direction as a leader. It really wasn't something that I put first. And now it is the most important thing to me and has what has made me successful as a leader. Um, and it, it takes time, it takes trial and error to get it right. But once you are able to marshal a group of people behind a vision that you've co-created with them, uh, it's amazing what you can accomplish. Communication is absolutely key to letting my whole organization know what's going on and what we need to do. Um, for most of the group, we sit down and we set our vision. Um, I'll come in with a, a point of view and a vision for where I think we're going. Um, we will plus that vision. So this group of people, my, my core team, will sit there and they'll um, debate with me. They will strategize with me. They'll add new ideas. Um, it's a, a theory that I took from a, a previous job about plussing, this idea of not criticizing or breaking down, but actually building an idea up and making it better. And once we set that vision and those goals, it's about communicating them out to everybody, but then following up on them. So I do a weekly email to my whole team letting them know what I'm particularly excited about, what's coming down the pike, what has happened in the next week. I do frequent all hands with my team where various people get up and speak and what's going on. I let them know when things are troubling me or things are exciting me and also let other people on the team uh, speak and let the team know what's on their minds. So it's constant communication. People are much more likely to do um, what you need them to do for the brand if they know what they're supposed to be doing. And sometimes that's often forgotten in leadership is that communication. And it's also listening. I take the time to have lunches with everybody on my team over the course of a quarter, um, as many as I can, uh, just to try to listen what's happening, what's on their mind, what are they thinking about for the brand or for the future. And those are things that have worked really well.